Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Geist from the EdTech Throwdown. Today, we're going to go over an awesome tool that's going to allow you to record steps that you take to complete a project. So it makes these little step-by-step -step guides. Check it out. Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to take a look at Tango, but I'm going to be working within Canva. All right, so over to the right here, you see Tango. Uh, this is an extension. It, what it does is it records the steps that you do on a website. And it will show little uh, pictures uh, along with that. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And uh, it's going to record those steps over here. This is a regular a Canva template. I just made it 11 by 8.5. And, uh, and I'm just going to show you how to change up a certificate of achievement. So as you can see right here, I went to design templates. And this is some of the stuff uh, that I've used in the recent uh, past here. I'm going to click on this one, and what it's going to do is bring that certificate of achievement in there. So picture yourself as a tech coach or a teacher showing someone else how to do this. Uh, all the stuff is in here, so I'm going to start editing some stuff. Certificate of achievement, that's great, but let's say I want to make it pop out a little bit. I am going to change the effect here to be an outline. There it is. Great. That's nice. I'm going to change this to be myself because I've worked hard and I think I need this certificate for some reason. And uh, maybe I go in here and uh, I change uh, this for working hard the past couple of weeks. All right, there it is. Giving myself a uh, participation trophy, doing what I'm supposed to be doing here so you can see that in there um, maybe I don't like this ribbon so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that ribbon and I'm gonna go in here and find a gorilla because I am powering through and gorillas have a lot of power let's call this Sammy the silverback right there I'm gonna resize it put it in the middle um, size it more. I don't really need to make it perfect here. Uh, you could show them how to change the colors, things like that, move stuff around. Let's go in a nice light gray here. There we go. Um, let's see, add one more, or a couple more clicks. So maybe I go here, go to more, I hit the little roller guy, and then I can also change that pretty easily as well. All right, and there we have it. This is my certificate of achievement. It's lovely. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video so I can show you the final product over in Tango. All right, so what it will automatically do is kind of give you a title automatically, how to customize their certificate of achievement in Canva. Uh, first thing you have to do is uh, open Canva. It's going to have a link here. Uh, to Canva. You can change the link. Notice that you can add steps in between if you forget something later. And what's cool is you could always come back to this and edit it later if you, you forgot something. You won't have to start the whole thing over again. So this shows that I'm clicking on that certificate. And as you go down step by step, notice that it actually zooms in and highlights what you have to do, which is super cool. All right, so it's every change that I did throughout the whole process. And it has these little, they're almost like GIFs, I guess, uh, showing the steps, zooming in. So this is uh, this tool is very, very cool. I like it a lot. Um, and I recommend Tango for anyone who wants to try it. All right, so try Tango.